Hey guys, this is Glenn, great customer of mine, and we do customer showcase videos down here. This guy has such good guitars, I can't help but to want to show you guys out in YouTube land what this guy has. Glenn, show this thing to us. What is it? That is a Zemitis. It is an A24NT. NT made in a natural finish. Um, I, I'll be honest with you, this guitar surprised the heck out of me. Hey, it's it's just beautiful. It's 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 loud, and it just you know it's it's insane. You look at it and you look at all the frills and all the engraving. And you go, oh yeah, really. Now we'll get down to it. Pretty easy to adjust your bridge with those big fancy wheels. You ever try and squeeze under it, get them little thumb wheels? You adjust those pretty good. And these pickups, 17K at the bridge. Nine that point, is hot. 9.4 at the neck. Rosewood board, mahogany body and neck. Feel these knobs when they roll off. It's like there's ball bearings in them. Go ahead and feel one. Rotate it. They rotate so smooth. And, and the taper off is so fantastic on it. It's not funny. Of course, they're a little bit ornate. Um, kind of cool. It's not, it's a, it's, I don't want to say it's a, a satin finish because it's not. It is a urethane finish on this one. So I'm a Malacca. Um, they have some very expensive ones out there. If you get a vintage one from the 70s, you're looking at seventy thousand fifty thousand dollars easily mm -hmm. um but this one here was made in japan you can actually see it this is the Antaeus antennas series rather tongue tied there a bit and this is this is the one step short of spending a whole lot of money right here and i got the guitar because i wanted it it took me a while to find one and work the right deal or i got one and this thing rocks. I'm actually, I hate to say, I'm probably going to put PAFs in it and keep it because it, it plays so astronomically well. When I got the guitar here in Phoenix, it's hotter than heck, lady. Mm -hmm. So it's 120 degrees out. Summertime, oh, 2018. Yeah, I opened Phoenix, up the Arizona. case. Arizona. And as I touched it, it was hot. It wasn't warm, it was hot. And I picked it up and went, and it was in tune after coming across the country. Well, 89% to 99% in tune. It wasn't that far off. It was. It, I was like, Jesus, I'm in shock. And then I picked it up and started playing it. Um, this thing came out the box. The action is at one millimeter off the 17th fret. One millimeter. There's no buzzes. The quality of the build on these things is absolutely insane. I didn't have to adjust the action, and I always drop my action down low. When you got an action that low, and they play like a, the Dickens. This is one of the coolest looking little guitars, I think. That's my preference. The thing is, it's not about looks with this. This thing rocks. The sustain is through the roof. Through the roof. So, all these, so everything here is aluminum. It's all aluminum. It is. Sometimes you hear stories of those old Kramers that had the aluminum necks and, and the heat had a lot to, uh, or the, the coldness if it was cold outside. Of course. Uh -huh. Everything contracts and expands. Some things contract more than others. I've had a lot of Kramers. Um, there's actually a, a picture out there of me with a Kramer up on top of a telephone pole playing it. Um, that was in the 70s. I would do that now. I'd probably be afraid halfway up there, but of course I was crazy then, kind of young. But um, I've had several of the aluminum that Kramer is, and I always had good luck with them. A lot of people don't like it. I actually had a 6000G, which I mm -hmm. should have never got rid of. Like, it was just a great guitar. So I see that it's got the little screws right here. Yeah. That hold this. you got to look uh, for them. you got to look for the screws, yeah. but they're there. That's what holds it on. Uh -huh. And if you, as you can tell, look at the, look at the machine quality and, and build quality. There's, there's not a gap anywhere on this thing. This thing is built to the hilt. It's just absolutely a well-built guitar. So tell me a little bit about the company. Tony Zameda started in the 50s, 55, and he was building handmade guitars. And all of a sudden, they started popping up in Ron Wood's hands, back with the faces and then with the stones. Keith Richards has Zameda's guitars. Um, the Black Crows, you're going to see them. 
The mm -hmm. problem is they were handmade guitars and hand engraved by Danny O'Brien. And there weren't a lot of them made, and you had to have some money to get one. Well, now you got to have a lot of money. Um, a good vintage Zemitis, you're going to be up around $50,000, if not more. There's a, there's a few out there, you know, without the metal front, that are twenty and 18000 It's not about this, okay? It's not, that's a problem. People look at it and go, oh, it's this, this gaudy looking metal front guitar. It's not about that metal front. It's about the quality of the build and the tone and the sustain. We'll plug it in here in a bit. The sustain is through the roof. I'm a Les Paul guy, you know me. I am mm -hmm. a Les Paul guy. This guitar surprised me. I was like, holy bejesus. Mm -hmm. This is a cool guitar. And you look at it, you know, set and act. They did a, did a good job. Everything, everything fits perfectly. There's nothing really done cheaply. Good. Look at that neck part. That's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just well. Let's plug it in. Let's make some noise. What do you let's think? Let's make some noise. A Zemitis. Here we go. Glenn's gonna let me play this thing for a second. This is the bridge pickup. that bridge pickup and light it up. for me to look at this thing. You're welcome. I don't think I'll, I've never seen one before. I don't know if I'll ever see one again. <laughs> so I really appreciate hey, that. You can get one at guitarbazaar.net, buddy. This very guitar is for sale. You bet. Guitarbazaar.net. See ya. Uh, Thanks for Sims watching, guys. Sims is doing good today. Doing good Another here. fun day. And I really appreciate the thousand plus subscribers that I have. And I really appreciate, so I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care, have a great day.